What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Brian Hikes All Day here. Today I wanted to talk to you about hiking footwear and why I switched from a hiking boot to a trail runner. Um, this currently right here in my hand is an Ultra Lone Peak 4.5. Uh, I switched to these last, last spring um, when a lot of people were recommending trail runners for hiking. I was always a fan of, or I shouldn't say a fan, I was always led to believe that I needed a hiking boot that was waterproof and insulated. And that was probably the biggest mistake I ever made because with the boots, your feet sweat a lot. Well, with the waterproof boots, your feet will end up sweating a lot and then your feet will be wet all day and then you'll start to blister and you'll have toenail issues and all those other things and Brittany and I had constantly been having blisters and toenail issues and not until we both switched to trail runners at the same time did all of these problems get solved. Now the reason why the breathable trail runners are so amazing is because when your foot could breathe it doesn't get sweaty and wet and if your foot doesn't get sweaty and wet then it doesn't blister, your toenails stay intact and your feet feel like heaven from start to finish. Um, with the boots, if the water gets in, it can't get out. So if you sweat, your feet are wet all day. If you get water in them from stepping in a puddle, you're wet all day, and then you're stuck all day. With the trail runners, if you step in a puddle and your foot gets completely submerged, 20 to 30 minutes later, your foot is dry again, and, and you're, just, you're able to just keep on going. Um, it doesn't give you any issues. It breathes. Um, the other thing about the Ultra Lone Peak 4s that I like, or 4.5s, is that the Ultra has a really wide toe box and my foot could just spread out and breathe and act in its natural state. Um, these are also zero drop, which is basically the way we were designed to walk uh, barefoot. We weren't born with shoes on our feet. Uh, so pretty much when I put this shoe on my foot, I was able to hike um, pretty much nonstop, as many miles as I could possibly put on my feet and I had no more foot issues. Um, I broke these trail runners in on the TCT Ultra, which was 38 miles. The first time I ever put my foot in these, I did a 38 mile hike and it was incredible. I had absolutely no foot issues after that. Um, when I was doing the extended Pemi loop over the summer, I tweaked my foot and I feel like I pulled my Achilles heel and for the rest of the summer, I feel like the back of this shoe right here would rub on my Achilles heel that was really sore. I don't know if this caused the pain in my Achilles heel. I don't know if my Achilles heel was injured and this just kept on irritating it. But um, as far as my, my other foot, I never had an issue. So I'm going to say it was an injury and the shoe just kept on irritating it. So I would say the shoes absolutely saved my life. Um, so yeah, breathable trail runners let your feet stay dry and comfortable all day. If you get them wet, they dry out. Um, boots, they get wet, they get sweaty, they don't dry, you get blisters, you get foot pain. Doesn't, it didn't really work for me. I'm not saying it won't work for you, but um, if you're doing a lot of really big, far day hikes, the type of shoes that you wear definitely matters. Breathable, it's the way to go. Um, that's, uh, that's really all I have to say about that. It's probably the best decision I ever made. And uh, I'm never going back. I am absolutely a fan of Zero Drop Breathable Trail Runners.